What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com and today I'm bringing you guys a highly requested video. This is a what's on my Android LG V30 edition. As usual, I have a Google Keep document with all eight apps that I'm going to talk about. These are either new apps that have come out in the last few months or just apps that I've started recently using. They might be older apps that I just discovered started using on my flagships. The first app I want to talk about today is also the sponsor of today's video, so thank you to KeepVid for sponsoring today's video. This is also a great app that I think a lot of you guys are really going to enjoy. It's something uh, that I think a lot of people have a need for, and that is the ability to locally download YouTube videos onto your Android phone. There are ads in the free version. You can remove them uh, for a premium in-app purchase, which I'll show you guys in a second. This is really great because if you want to download YouTube videos, say you want to watch some of my videos when you're on the plane, uh, or you want to watch a music video when you're on the plane, uh, you can download them to your Android phone, store them locally, and then you don't have to worry about being connected to the internet, paying some outrageous prices, you know, for in-flight Wi-Fi or something like that. So you've got a home tab where obviously you can see, you know, different categories, game videos, music videos, news videos, sports videos, etc. Whatever your categories. Uh, you can discover trending videos here also by tag. There's a search tab right here at the top if you want to do that. Uh, there's also a tab here where you can get your own videos that you're subscribed to, so all of your subscriptions in your subscription box will appear here. If you want to download a video, it's very simple to do. All you got to do if you want to download the video is just go ahead and find one that you're interested in, and then once you find one that you're interested in, you just tap and then go here. You can see you've got the little download icon. It's going to analyze that, give you some options about which various file formats you can download in. If you want to download it in, say, 720, maybe you want to save a little bit of space, it'll go ahead and add the task, and you'll see right up here in your taskbar that it's downloading it. Now, at the very top of the interface, it's really nice. The little download tab up here actually shows you what's being downloaded right now. You guys can see right there, downloading the current video. And then also this tab over here shows you what you've already downloaded. So you can see I downloaded LG V30 unboxing and also a video from Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Uh, shout out to Max and Eric. Uh, just to test out the software, I downloaded a couple of those. So it's really cool. Again, uh, you should only use this for personal use, obviously, to view the videos personally. Don't download these for commercial reasons to monetize YouTubers' videos or re-upload them. That's obviously a disclaimer. Um, you can sign in, like I said, and get premium features if you pay an in-app purchase fee. The features are here for the VIP premium, $3.99 uh, for a lifetime. Remove the ads, uh, enable download the YouTube playlist so you can download a full playlist that you create. YouTube 2K videos, uh, enable download YouTube closed captioning, and also more powerful functions for uh, automating the batches are coming very soon. So a lot of powerful features here. It also has a desktop client if you're interested in using that. Highly recommend giving them a look. I'll drop all the links below to where you can download the Android APK for this. It is safe. It's on APK Mirror. It's on a bunch of legit sites. Um, you can't get it from the Play Store because obviously Google doesn't want you downloading YouTube videos locally, but you can download it at the link below. So huge shout out to KeepVid for sponsoring the video. The next uh, apps that I want to talk about are actually two apps that go together. It's Adaptive Pack and Action Launcher. So you guys can see here that I recreated the Pixel setup on my LG V30. Now I know the Pixel Launcher, the Pixel 2 Launcher officially came out and you can now grab that. But Action Launcher offers some other amazing benefits. Action Launcher from Chris Lacey is one of my favorite third-party launchers, and I've been using it over Nova Launcher for a while. I know a lot of people are really, really loyal to Nova, which is fine. Um, but Action Launcher offers one great benefit now, which is the ability to use the native adaptive icons like you can in Android Oreo and get a really nice set uh, of icons from Chris Lacey. Now, this is a paid app. I think it's, I got it for $349. It might be $5 now. But this is one of the nicest icon packs I've ever seen. Uh, you can get circular, you know, format to the various different adaptive types that you can see in Oreo. So if you go here, you choose your icon pack. And when you go into the adaptive style down here at the bottom, you can choose the adaptive icon style right there. Squircle, rounded square, square, etc. So it's very nice. And there's a full set of icons there inside the adaptive pack. I think a lot of people have underestimated what Chris Lacey did here and the amount of work that went into it. I'll drop his blog post below so you can see just how many you know, icons he's themed and all the work that went into creating truly adaptive icons. So this really looks like a pixel device when you add in those adaptive icons. Uh, obviously, I'd like to have the uh, coming up next at the top here, like the Pixel 2, but it definitely looks really nice. I will do a full video on Action Launcher. I've been planning it for a long time, but I did want to show that off to you guys today. Uh, the next thing is a new wallpaper app. I actually got this from my friend uh, Zachary Anderson, his video. He's always making theming videos too. 
and I saw this app uh, and I really like the wallpapers that are in it, so I thought I'd share it with you guys in this video. Uh, a lot of nature wallpapers, uh, color splash wallpapers and things like that. There are ads in here again, but I really like some of these splatter wallpapers like this one here. Uh, a couple other that also have black in them too, like this one, the black and the pink. Uh, and then also a really light, a lot of nice abstract wallpapers too. So if you like nature wallpapers or if you like abstract wallpapers, WallP is a free app where you can get some unique wallpapers. And I think not that many people are using this app, so it's likely that if you get WallP, uh, you're going to have a chance to get some wallpapers that not all your friends are using. Uh, backdrops, I still like it, but they've stopped updating as much, so I've started looking for some other wallpaper apps lately. Uh, the next app I've talked about in a video before, but it was mainly in a tutorial video, and that's Shortcutter. Uh, Shortcutter is a nice app that lets you customize your quick settings by adding custom tiles to your quick settings. That's the main idea. Uh, I do have Shortcutter Premium, but you can get a lot of these action tiles and stuff without actually paying for the premium price. Some of the stuff I like to add is the file browser, the ability to send a new tweet, and so you can check all the things that you want to include here inside the app. And then when you actually go down here in your quick settings, you guys will see right there, file browser, new tweet. If I want to open the file browser, I tap on that, and all of your other shortcutter settings are right under here. So you can see right here, you've got all of your other shortcutter settings, all the ones that you enable in the app. And there's really a lot of stuff to choose from. It just depends on what you want to have in your quick settings, but it definitely gives you a lot more control. Uh, the next thing is a really cool app for people who are movie fans out there. This app is called Run P, and I actually heard about this one a long time ago on the All About Android podcast, which I love to listen to each week. Uh, Run P is basically an app that tells you various times in your movies that you want to see um, where you can go and pee, go and use the restroom. So, for instance, if I wanted to see the new movie Happy Death Day that came out yesterday, you can see that someone has already told me that there are two pee times in the movie. They tell you the time at which the pee time occurs. They give you a synopsis of exactly what happens while you're gone. So you can read this, you know, while you're gone to your visit to the restroom. Um, and then also, for most of the movies, they give you some cues to tell you when exactly you know to go. So this tells you right here, a little bit of context, when Tree wakes up in Carter's room screaming. So that tells you exactly when that happens. You're going to know what's going on in the movie. You can go ahead and leave, go use the restroom. And it says right here that you've got three minutes to go to the restroom and get back. So that's going to be a quick quick break. It's a really nice app, and if you love going to movies, you don't want to miss anything super important, uh, this is a great thing just to have on your phone. You can download the synopsis locally, so you don't have to be connected to Wi-Fi, you don't have to be connected to LTE or anything like that. You're going to be all set, and you'll be able to check out your movie, and not miss any important parts. Uh, the next thing is a very simple thing. It's a alarm clock. It's spot-on alarm clock that integrates with Spotify. It's an app that's actually in beta still, I believe, but I downloaded it recently and I really like it. It's very simple. You just add a new alarm and then you can choose how to integrate that with your Spotify music. So you can see here I have two shorts set for my weekly alarm at 5.35 in the morning. Um, I can get vibrates as well, show notification. Um, you can label the alarm, you know, put your alarms in various breakdown if you need multiple alarms choose to fade in or not, you can have it shuffle. You can also use Spotify Connect, which is really awesome. And I gotta get all my speakers set up in here, but if you have any speakers that are actually Spotify enabled, like your Sonos speakers, you can actually play this throughout your entire bedroom with your Sonos speakers and give you a crazy powerful alarm. So I'm really loving it. It's a very simple app that integrates with Spotify, but if you use Spotify for music and you need alarms, I definitely think it's worth checking out. Uh, and the last two are two social media apps, which most of you are probably familiar with, but they're really important to me, and I think that both of them are things that people will enjoy for various reasons. Um, Phoenix is my new favorite Twitter client, Phoenix 2, actually. I used the Phoenix original a long time back in the day, got discontinued with the support, you know, because of the uh, Twitter tokens and all that stuff, and I started using Flamingo, which is great as well. But uh, Phoenix 2 is very smooth. It runs much nicer in terms of refreshing and actually, you know, getting your tweets in a timely fashion push notifications than the old version of Phoenix. It's got this nice all black AMOLED theme which I can use with phones like the Galaxy Note 8 and the LG V30 here. Lots of theming options, uh, customization options. If you have multiple Twitter accounts and run a business and a personal account, Phoenix is per uh, perfect for that. You've got columns here with your direct messages, timeline, activity, all that kind of stuff. So I highly recommend Phoenix, very customizable. If you go into the settings, like I said, Lots of various theming options for the appearance, how you want to change how the columns are displayed. Um, lots of shortcuts, double tap, you know, to like, swipe, you know, to go ahead and reply to tweets. It's very easy to use Twitter on mobile with Phoenix too. 
And then the other app, which is one that is just an app that I think a lot of people uh, use, but they don't really want to have on their phone, and that's Facebook Messenger. So Facebook Messenger Lite is the light version of, sorry, is the light version of Facebook Messenger. And the really nice thing about the light version of Facebook Messenger is that Facebook Messenger Lite doesn't take up nearly as much uh, space. It also doesn't eat as much battery life on your phone. So if you're really interested in using Facebook Messenger, you guys can see I use it to stay in contact with you know friends and family, uh, but you don't want to have that battery life getting eaten up. You don't want to take up a bunch of space. I think it's only five megabytes. I uh, highly recommend downloading Facebook Lite. It's now available on the Play Store for everybody in the U.S. It was originally intended only for uh, you know smaller countries that don't have high-end devices, but now you can get it uh, easily off the Play Store. All right, so that's a look at uh, eight apps that I'm using. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get future videos like this. Find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter at the links in the description. Highly appreciate you guys checking out the video. I'll drop all the links in the description, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.